Ryan giving us double middle fingers can only mean, Brad, <laughs> that it is time for game room. All right, hit me. All right, we've got a, right whopping, the head. a whopping trio of games. That's right, three, oh, count them, three games this week. Thank God, let's get it over with. Nine dollars worth of awesome excitement. <laughs> uh, these three games over here, starting with the Radar Lock. All right. It's an Atari 2600 triple threat this week, is it not? I got a day. It's called Red Alarm. <laughs> Which I think was the theme song for that game. If you go back and watch the commercials for it, I'm sure that that'll bear out. Thrust fight. What? What the hell kind of controller does this thing have if it's got all this. I have to use two joysticks to play it originally or something? That's... I take it you are unfamiliar with Radar Lock. I am. Uh, this is kind of a late model game. Uh, 89. What? Yes, use both the left and right joysticks to play. Eight what? 89. No. 89. For the 2600? 2600. What? Yeah, there's some, some pretty late. I don't, I'm really confused. I thought Atari sort of ceased to exist after like the legendary crash. No, like, no. They, they, they kept they, going? They kind of kept going for a, a while and, and there were still people making games for this thing, and it was still, Jeez. yeah, it's still Like, that happened, was well so. post-7800 at that point, right? Uh, yeah, I guess it would have been. Yeah, I guess it had to, yeah. had to have been. All right, my mind has officially been blown for the day. Okay, so I only have a limited number of, of missiles for the other. Man. Guns. They guns, had, they guns, had, guns. They had really mastered development on this hardware by this point, hadn't they? <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, you know, with the, the limited more... control options, I mean, you had to use two joysticks to play this game, like Raiders of the Lost Ark style. That's crazy. I don't know. This looks somewhat better than most of the 2600 games, although digging that sprite flicker on your ship there, yeah. that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to stop wasting missiles. Oh, God, they've got tone. <laughs> or do I have tone? Hell, I don't know. Somebody's got tone. So I hold down the thrust. Gets louder. Is it something resembling a radar down there? I guess I have a limited gun ammo as well there. I don't, I'm not really sure how to read the radar. Oh. Just, just locking on to something. Let's do this. Actually, I guess oh. you... I guess, I guess you are doing it. Uh, yeah. You are now 21st on the radar lock leaderboard. Nice. That didn't take very long. <laughs> well, I was playing jungler a little bit before we were getting going here, and there were over 7,000 people on that leaderboard. Wow. Well, that was one of the first releases. It though, was. Right? So maybe that gives you some indication as to... And arguably still one of the best. Sure, right? You could make that argument yeah. if you wanted to. I, I just, I just did. So I have limited guns here, and I'm not really having, they're not really threatening much. I was wonder if, if I run out of guns, what will happen? Because I'm already out of missiles. I don't know. That's still a lot of guns down there. It is. Maybe you get some like afterburner style aerial refuel. Ooh. This game is kind of afterburner-esque, yeah. except I can't roll. Uh, maybe this is my refueling attempt here. That... If I get the thing in the center, something good's got to happen, right? What is that? Oh, I'm out of gas. Oh, awesome. I... That's that gas gauge on the yeah. lower left there, probably, right? Well, that was radar lock. It's been nice knowing you. Everything's going to be cool. I think this is it. Is it I, all right, I got a dead center. What do I got? It. Uh, what is that thing? There is no actual representation of it. No, I don't know. Your don't field know. of view. I also can't shoot. Well, this game's awesome. This is great. <laughs> okay, this is <laughs> this is officially great now. Oh. Uh. Now I've got my next life. All right. Let's punch it. It would be silly to quit now. I've already got 1,200 points. It's true. Next guy up on the leaderboard has almost 10,000. Just saying yeah, that. Yeah, well, that's... 
I will beat Burger Trench if I have to. <laughs> oh, I guess now we're back on this again. Yeah. Burger Trench is a pretty serious gamer tag. Yeah. That's a uh, Space Ghost slash Aqua Teen Hunger ah, Force okay. reference. Got it. Are you earning any achievement credit for this? I mean, I'm potentially earning medals. Okay. Uh, oh, and you just need... For getting points and spending time, and what's the other one? You just need uh, a crap load of medals to get achievements. Yeah, there's okay. the... Yeah. So this, this time is not all for naught. I'll hit the thrust button in the direction of... Any other things behind me? Why it's a dot instead of a... <laughs> Can I actually turn all the way around? No, it doesn't look like it. Radar just turned there blue. There what does that mean? I wonder. Who knows? Can I crash? I hope so. Oh god, I hope so. Oh, what, A is thrust now? What the hell? Maybe for the refueling sequences, A becomes thrust. So maybe I'll try and get back on target and hold down A. This has to be refueling. There. Oh. Nope. How'd you okay, do that? So I'm in the same area as it now. Oh man, there oh. it is. Line up that hook. He's trying. He's trying to give it to you. Give it to me. Boom. Delicious points. Wait, he's taking your guns. I need those guns. For my cold dead hands. Oh, give me a little missile command count there. For oh dude. You are, uh... Oh, okay, that's level one, I guess, huh? You're coming up on Casino Man here, rapidly. Yeah. All right, Radar Lock, let's do this! <laughs> now you're in. Now this game is sick! <laughs> now you're on board. It is, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's way more complicated than the average 2600 game, that's for when, damn sure. When did Afterburner come out? When was the first Afterburner? Uh... Was that a Master System game, or...? Been, I mean, it was an arcade game first. Right, but that era. Uh, no, they did not do Afterburner for the Master System. Did they not? Well, the Genesis was already a thing at that point. Oh, it was like, what, 80... That would have been like 89-ish. 89 is when it came out, right? Yeah. And Afterburner was probably like 88. They didn't actually didn't do Afterburner 1 for the Genesis. They just came out with Afterburner 2. Okay. It was a pretty early game. Uh, it was, you know, was kind of like their MO at the time. Like, they did Space Harrier 2 for the Genesis okay. also. So they kind of sure. made a whole new Space Harrier that was not as good as the original Space Harrier. Uh, musically, which is how I rate Space Harrier, just by the quality of its music. Get ready. I actually currently have set, uh, so I, I re broke my phone okay. uh, not too long ago, and instead of making, uh, so I changed my, my incoming text message tone, but I also changed the noise it makes when you dock it. Uh, wow. So now it's the Space Harrier oh, coin drop noise when I, when I plug it in to dock. That's pretty good. Which is pretty good. Did you hear they're adding a bunch of actual new, like, official text message tones? Really? They're all terrible. Oh. They are all... They're all, like, ten seconds long. They're all, like, That's, longer than a phone call ringtone would, should why be. Why would you do that? That it, doesn't... You wouldn't. You wouldn't. It's terrible. All right, come on. Come on. I have finally decided that their refusal to let you change your text message tone yeah. is just a, like, brand recognition thing. Oh, yeah. I, like, guess, I guess I could see some of that. Like, like oh. if you're out in public and people hear that little glass ding, like, they know you got an iPhone, right? Right. Yeah, I guess so. Like, it's it's to increase the perception of ubiquity. I mean, that's definitely the case. I remember, you know, everyone had those Nokia 5190s uh, back in the day, and, you know, you, you knew everyone had one of those when, right. when, when the messages, when the, when the texts came in. That's my theory on that. Uh, yeah, that makes some sense. I was thinking it was more of a stubbornness and kind of saying, like, look, text messaging is so old. Like, that is not, we don't care about it. We're not going to put any effort into it because that is for crazy people. Hmm. No, no one texts anymore. You should send an email or something like that. Like, it was Apple yeah. saying. Yeah, that makes some sense, too. That that's not current technology. So we're going from one end of the 2600 spectrum to the other. This is Street Racer, 1977. Whoa. Wow. Larry Kaplan, who would later go on to leave Atari and go to Activision, uh, and he d designed Kaboom, hmm. I think. Pretty, uh... Larry Kaplan joint? Anyway. Pretty auspicious entry on the resume, I guess. Uh... I don't know about this one, though. Yeah, this is, this is not a quality. This is, this is oh, not... You, oh, you, so you, you do know this one. 
Yeah, this was a, a pretty early 2600 game. and You and so Street Racer got some I'm, history. I'm the guy on the right. Oh, wow. And uh, got kind of crumpled there. I think this is primarily a two-player game, which is why the car on the left side is not really moving at all. <laughs> well, actually, I'm just pretty bad at this. <laughs> and it, yes, it turns into a dancing man every time <laughs> the car gets the car, hit. The car is getting down. Uh, I think this used the driving controller or the paddles uh, when it was initially released. They made a driving controller? So the driving controller was... So, I don't know if you remember this, but when you got paddles on the 2600, it was two paddles attached to one controller port. Huh. Driving controllers were exactly the same, except there was only one. And okay. you could not play driving controller games with the paddles, which seemed senseless. Um, Considering they're both basically wheels. Yeah. Burp, burp. Let's look at some <laughs> different modes. So you can see this is a. So now we, basically we've got multiple race cars. So there's two players on the on the right side, ah. and one on the left. So this must have been paddles then, because uh, driving controllers were one per, and you could not per console. I could have that backwards. I might have no, no, no paddles were anyway. Whoa, yo man, that's skis or something. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, you got this. Oh! But no. you lose a point on these every time you... No, Sonny Bono. No. Yeah. I... Sorry, it was too soon for that. Too soon. So, same type of deal with that. And... Is that, is, that the, is that the Enterprise? Space. Oh, so this one I'm actually moving and get one point every time I clear the screen. Shining example of ingenuity of something. <laughs> Keep in mind. Oh. 1977. Yeah, okay, fair. I'll give you that. There's a biplane. Oh, now I'm shooting. Oh, man. So now it's like combat almost. Shitty combat. Is combat out? Combat, combat has was to be like out. the launch game. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, combat that was, makes sense. Was the game that came with it. Uh, the one game you would actually need. That's right, number crunchers. <laughs> <is the new. laughs> we should do. Oh, wait, number crunchers? Or I don't know. Number I don't munchers? Know is that what you're thinking about? No, like I, the Apple II? this mode had a specific name. Oh, okay. Uh, but you are you familiar with number munchers? Yeah. We should do an MECC roundup quickly. Totally. I want to play Number Rocky, Rockers. Rocky's Boots. Man. Uh, uh, what else do they have in there? Uh, Rocky, eh. Rocky's Boots was incredible. I think incredible. Number Muncher, I think, was all we had in our computer lab. Um, Oregon Trail, of course. Yeah. But that's almost, that's pretty much its own separate video. Yeah, yeah. So here's a 1982 joint sub commander. It's got a ranked mode, which I'm always happy about. Just do a logo writer. Quick look. <laughs> Uh, all right. Whoa. This is almost like Sub Rock 3D or something. Dive, dive! Yeah. Is this basically the extent of the game? Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, just kind of, sure. you know, I'm moving up and down to get a view. And like I see that like sonar thing going down there, but I'm guessing that's just for show. Oh, it, it looks like it's oh, lighting yeah, up a little yeah, bit. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. It's like showing you where stuff's coming. But so from. much stuff is kind of coming your way that and I don't have so much steering control over it that I can keep these guys in my view all that much. Oh, there, I can kind of if I move to the right here, so I can kind of keep that boat on screen, but I still can't hit it. So that's that. This is not exactly silent service. No, not quite. There's no crash dive button. You cannot blow ballast. <laughs> I 
thought that number's going down there. I think it's every time I shoot, it goes down. And then also, it goes down with time, probably. So I'm imagining I just gotta do my thing quickly. And efficiently. Some of these take uh, m multiple shots to sink. What do you think about that? I'm speechless. Uh huh. Actually. <laughs> God. I wonder what year this is from? 82. Okay. 82. It's kind of the heyday then, right? Uh. Like when did the bottom fall out? Was that 83, 84 ish? Uh, it was like Pac Man when when they did Pac Man for the 2600. I think that was like, I'm gonna say that was like 84 ish. Or, no, that'd be like 83, 84. Was that not a quality version of Pac Man? No. No, I've never seen it. No, it was it was not uh, it was not good. You don't think you would think Pac Man's that hard to get right? Well, I mean, with the, it was the limitations of the console. Oh. You know, Pac Man was such a popular arcade game. People yeah. had a very good idea of what that game was supposed okay. to be. Um, 2600 is not up to the task. I didn't realize it was. No, no. The Pac Man was that advanced. Uh, compared to this thing. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. Right. you're um, right. You're right. You know, just the audio was not right. The you know Pac Man looked like crap. Uh, what else? Uh, they ended up doing a better version of Ms. Pac-Man later on, but by then it seemed like the damage was kind of done on, on, on the video game industry. Um, but yeah, uh, Pac-Man for the 2600 is one of those games that the audio you hear the audio of it in a lot of scenes on TV and in movies and stuff as just like people are generically playing a video game. Right. And then you hear the dun, 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 noise of, sure. of 2600 Pac-Man. Um, just not the same. No, it's, it's not the same at all. So what, what positions do I get on the leaderboards that I'm like, oh, I'll curse you, Burger Trench. <laughs> Guys everywhere. Sensing hungry teens. All right, uh, 15th place, not bad. When we do these quick looks, the new games on Game Room are like a matter of hours old. Right? Yeah, exactly. This so came out at like always, 2 a.m. or something. So it's, I, I always want to know who these people are who have already played that much of these games. Uh, you know, this is just, you know, a guy that maybe played like one or two games and did really well at it. And that's, maybe before he went to work or something. Yeah. This guy, his ColecoVision's right in his name, so you know he's serious. <laughs> I don't even Bony want to Hulk. think about what Bo Bony Hulk is into. <laughs> I think you know. All right. That's it for Game Room this week. Yay! Yay! Exciting. I'm starting to appreciate Game Room a little bit as a historical tool or a... It's almost like a museum exhibit. Yeah, but it's a like way. a really, it's, it's a museum exhibit of like broken things. Yeah, you know, it's not yeah. the classics that actually sure. represent this era well. For the most part, it's, you know, here's, I don't know, can, horse racing for the Intellivision. Can you represent this era well anymore? N not without, I mean, there's, there's so many business deals that would have to be made yeah. with so many different companies. You know, they would need Namco on board to, to put Pac-Man out, but Pac-Man's already out for a live arcade. Yeah. So. Plus, there's like a new Pac-Man that's way better that you could be playing. Way better is a bit strong of a term. Really? For, I mean, for Pac championship edition? championship edition is is an awesome game, but it's dude. I mean, it was a different era. They could not have made that game. In, oh, I know, in I know, I know. But I'm talking about in. in but spe yeah, speaking in terms of now, if you're okay. going to play a Pac-Man game, like yeah, that, I guess I would. I would maybe say Champion edition. Championship Edition. Or the forthcoming uh, DX, DX version. Yeah. Maybe, maybe look out for that one. Game's got bombs. Lots F. of them. Yep. All right. That's Bye, Game Room. Yeah.